Hey folks, my name is Travis S1, and welcome back to Super Mario Maker 2. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a level entitled Desertic Path, created by a good friend of mine named LS33, or, well, LaserSword33 for those of you who don't know. This is 7 out of 471 for a 1.48% clear rate. Um, this level's clear rate's a lot lower than what it should be. In my opinion, uh, there was one part that actually really stumped me the other day. As you, as you can see, that you've got a, quite a bit of clears and quite a bit of hearts with this level, because it's it's a really good level. It's well put together, well crafted, right? The problem is there's one part that's really confusing, and if we can come to the comments, it's really thanks to Minion X. Uh, we'll talk about it when we get there, but you don't kill the Lakitu in one part. It, it's really, like, I got really stumped a couple days ago trying to beat this, but, uh, I know, I know what to do now. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. As you can see, though, you can now upload 64 courses. This is an update that came yesterday. Was yesterday the 23rd? No, yes, yesterday. So it is Wednesday for me. Anyway, the goal of this level is to collect the five coins. And it's very well put together. You have the first coin up here. We're going to see how fast we can do this level. I bet you I can speed run this. And really get like myself a nice record on it. I want to get a record, so we're not going to have that happen. Uh, or at least try to get... I don't really know the later parts of the level. So, that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, the goal is to get ten coins. Five of the big ten coins. I'm taking that really slow. Come here. And, my goodness, I can't make that jump for the life of me. Um... I let that spiny come down. What you're supposed to do with this jump is really annoying, actually. It's not that bad, but it's just really confusing. Er, like, if you miss the first go, you're screwed. And you basically have to restart the level. So, it it's really not that bad, but... It's a thing, and it happens. We'll just say that. Oh my goodness. Why am I sucking? There we go. Okay. So when, once you get that part figured out, it's really not that bad. Then what you have to come and do is come over here, grab this propeller suit, spin, come back up out of here, spin again, gotta turn the switch back off or on because you need that on to progress speed through here jump back come down grab the key and you're on so you've collected two of the five coins this part is pretty interesting. You come over here, grab it, turn the switch on, you don't suck. Come back, grab a propeller, because I'm stupid and I took damage. Go down, come up here and grab the next 10 coin. Perfect. Alright, so this is the part where it can get kind of confusing, and where I was really stumped. So, I can barely see this red coin first, just because my screen's a little, s like, my, my TV's a little small. You can't go back into the pipe. The on-off switch is blocking that. So you can't kill this Lakitu. It is imperative that you do not kill this Lakitu. Because what you have to do is you have to not get damaged. You have to take one of these spinies that are going to land on this brick platform. 
and you have to get them into their shell. Which apparently is going to take a freaking while right now, because that makes sense. Really? Ugh. Dang it. Alright, we're back. We got this red coin. them on this platform, please. We should really just, like, let them clear off the screen first. Oh, you got a good one right there. Alright, so you're supposed to take this and throw it like that, which I wasn't aware that you could do originally. Oh, shoot. Really? Why can't I, like, play this game today? Oh! one way to do that. That's a clear condition. Spawn that guy down. That's definitely not world record. <laughs> not even close, probably. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know why that took me so long. <laughs> That was a pretty fun level. I do wish that the Lakitu part, with how you're supposed to do it, was a little bit more clear to understand. Um, had its challenging parts. I do think that this level, it, it's, I unfortunately I died a lot to it. I would have lost in a super expert or not a super expert run. I would have lost an expert run. To be fair. Um, 
I don't think it would entirely classify as super expert, to be honest. But, yes, nah. There's only eight clears on this level, though, so he's got to go out and clear it. The only likes have been... Well, that's not true. There's one like this by somebody who didn't clear it. Anyway, let's go ahead and make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am. Nice. Go ahead and turn Desertic Path to green. And then we will go ahead and call it wrap up for the vid. And there we go. Perfect. Alright, so in the next video, we're going to be doing Clear Condition Don't Time Out by Revolve, which is a Super Mario 3D World speedrun that's extremely difficult. Um, well, I, it depends on your definition of difficult. Um, hard for people like me, let's just say that. Alright, I would like to thank everybody so much for watching. Once again, if you want to see what I'm going to be doing next, you can take a look at the link in the description that will take you to the Google Doc. To my, my Twitter account's down there. You can also join my official Discord server. On top of that, it would be absolutely amazing if you would like, comment, and subscribe. It would be absolutely helpful for the channel. And thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you all later.